Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Wingspan, which is the upcoming game from Stonewire Games, who have made things like Viticulture, Euphoria, Charterstone, all sorts of things. And this is a game where we are running an aviary and we are trying to attract the best birds, really. Get them in their natural habitats, get them to lay eggs for points and, you know, hunters will hunt, birds will bird, things will be great. So in this game we start off with five bird cards each and two objective cards each. Now I've already chosen the one that I'm having. I'm going to be a wetland scientist. So I really want birds that can only live in water. And that's going to be my goal. And it gives you a little helpful thing. You know, this is the points I'm going to get. If I've got three to four birds, I'm going to get three points at the end of the game. 26% of the cards can only live in water. So it gives you a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a leg up, a bit of advice as to what you should take. Oh. I'm getting ahead of myself. If I make any mistakes, they will be corrected in the Klingon subtitles, so be sure to turn them on if you want to be notified. And if you aren't a fan of handheld cameras like this, then there is a tripod static camera option that's in the description. So yeah, take your pick. Now on with the thing. I've also got five bird cards and we've each got one of each of the types of food in the game at the start. We have to decide now which of these cards are we going to keep because each one that we keep is going to cost us a food. And it costs you food to put the animals out. So say the, uh, I was gonna say this one, but then I realized I'd have to pronounce it. Bowick's, Bowick's Wren, I would go for. Uh, so that's gonna cost us two worms and a wheat to put this out. And it will do all sorts of things, but yeah, that's the, the food that it needs to be attracted and be happy in our little uh, conservation area. So the Northern Shoveler here, great name, uh, is is good for me because it only wants to live in water. So I probably want to go for that. So that's that's going into your decision. The objective that you've got for the game, the abilities that are on the cards. So the cards will activate when we take actions. When this one activates, once it's in my player area, all players will draw a card from the deck. So that helps me, but it also helps everybody. So yeah, do I really want to do all of that? Also what's going into your decision is the bonus that you'll get round by round. There's four rounds in the game and at the end of each round we're going to evaluate the goal for that round. So the first one is eggs on birds with particular types of nests, so that kind of bowl nest. So the northern shoveler here, no, it's got a different type of nest, not perfect for that goal. What have we got later on? Sets of three eggs in the, in the habitats. Yeah, we could probably do that. That would help towards that. Uh, in the eggs, birds in the fields, not particularly good. Eggs in those nests, the, the narrow nests. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't really go for any of the goals, but it's a bird that can only live in water. So I think I really want to hang on to that. Now these birds can go in water, but they don't count towards my goal because they can go in any type of habitat. So I want, we do want this kind of nest don't we for the goal in round two so i might keep this wren if this bird is to the right of all other birds in its habitat move it to another habitat so it can move around as well so that might be worth keeping what have we got here the hummingbird takes any kind of food which is nice uh, everyone gets a food from the bird feeder when this uh, bird is activated i'm just taking them all now aren't i the western tanager uh, this gains you some food when it's activated Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'm going to I'm going to leave that one because I don't particularly want just the just the woodland birds. Fish crow. Discard an egg from birds to get food from the supply. I think we're going to leave those two. We're going to take these three birds. So which food do I want to keep? Now these both want um, worms and wheat. So I think we'll definitely keep those and we'll pay the other three as the costs for keeping these cards at the start of the game. So they're going to go back into the supply. So now let's come on over here. I'm playing a two player game today, as always, against Little Glass Marty. And he is a photographer. He wants birds with colors in their names. If he can get more than six birds with colors in their names, that's six points. And this is an example of what colors are. If you were confused as to what that meant. So what's he got? So looking at the, he's got the same goals as me and you're gonna get a point for every one of these that you, uh, that you achieve basically. So for every egg that you've got in that type of nest in round two, you're gonna get a point up to a maximum of five. Now there is a different way of playing this. Uh, I'm just gonna have to destroy my layout a little bit to show you that uh, based on what you want really, if you want a bit of a less interactive game like this, 
that I've chosen. You can go for a point for every time you've achieved the goal, or you can go for a race. Well, have the majority really, no, no particular race. Everyone finishes at the end of the round one. So whoever has the most the most birds with those nests with eggs on would get four points for being in first place and it gets more and more valuable to be first as the game goes on. So you can play it like that if you want to. We prefer this way where you just get rewarded for how many times you have achieved the goal. Okay, so for Marty, I think he's going to go for an owl sanctuary because we want, we want birds in the, the fields, don't we? Burrowing owl, perfect for that. Barn owl. Marty's potentially going to be getting a lot of uh, mice with these. And they've got this one's got the right type of nest for the round two goal. This one is a wild card. The star means it counts as all of the nests, depending on when you need it. The uh, red cockaded woodpecker will let you draw some bonus cards, which would be nice. And it's the right type of nest. So is the hooded merganza. Hmm. Now, he looks like a very cheeky fella. And it lets you repeat hunter powers. The owls are hunters, so they would work together really nicely. I think he's going to keep those ones. And he wants to keep mice, definitely, because the owls don't both want mice. And, yeah, he's going to go for a little... Is it a slug? I think it's a slug rather than a worm. We're calling it a worm. All these games. So, Marty's going to discard too. So, he's keeping the same number as me, but he's kind of got a... A little predator plan going already. So that's the end of setup. I'm the first player and on your turn you have four actions that you can take and everything is laid out on your player board for you. We have all of these action cubes. So you're going to be able to take eight actions in the first round and you're going to get one fewer action every round because one of your cubes is going to mark how many points you scored for the goals. So I take one of my cubes and I'm going to pick one of these actions. I can play a bird. One of the birds from my hand, you need to pay the food and then you put it in the row of the habitat it belongs in. So some you get a choice, some they have to go where it says. So I could pay some food. I would need more food to put this out, but I could put the Northern Shoveler out there. It's got a when activated ability. In fact, every card that we've uh, kept has got a when activated ability. So nothing would happen when we played the card. Later on in future columns, you'll need to pay eggs to be able to play the birds there. The advantage of having the birds out there is in the future when I take a different action. So say I took the action, draw bird cards. At the start of the game, that just gets me one bird card. And you can pick cards from the display here or just draw one from the top of the deck. If I've played a bird card to this row, when I take the draw cards action now, I still only get one, but I now have the option to pay an egg to get an extra card. And later on, I will get more and more cards based on how many birds I've got. Then, after we've taken the action that's on here, we go from right to left and activate all of the birds when activated powers. So right now, if I was to take the draw bird cards, I would get a card, I could pay an egg for another card, and then everyone would draw a card from the deck thanks to the Northern Shoveler's ability. The other actions that you can take are gain food from the bird feeder, the dice show you which food is available right now. At the moment, not a lot of choice. It's, it's mainly berries, isn't it? Uh, but later on, you can pay cards to get uh, more and more food with one action based on the birds that you have in there. And finally, you can lay eggs on birds. So the birds all have egg limits on them. So the Northern Shoveler here can have up to four eggs on it. And yeah, you can put them around however you like. And for each of these actions, you take the number of dice or cards or eggs, and then work from right to left, activating all of your birds as you go. So as the game progresses, you're building a little engine. So at the start, we're only getting two eggs and nothing else if I took this action. At the end of the game, if I really went for it, I could get potentially five eggs if I wanted to pay a resource and then activate five different bird abilities. So it can really, really escalate. Now, I think for my first turn, Anna's Hummingbird here, has the right type of nest we want for this goal. So we want at least one egg on birds with that type of nest, the bowl nest. So I think, yeah, we're gonna play a bird. So I put a cube on here, where the bird's gonna go. I don't have to pay an egg because it's the first column. I need to pay, this symbol means any type of food. So I think I'm going to take, now neither of the foods that I need for the other birds are available at the moment. I'm gonna spend a wheat, why not? So we've attracted the hummingbird into our sanctuary 
and I will put it in the I'll put it in the forest row because I would like to start gaining some food even though we do need some eggs by the end of the round if we want to go for that goal but yeah I want to try and get some more food so I can get some more birds out so we've played that card now so that cube stays there to show that I have used that action up next is Marty and I think he's going to use the food that he kept to also play a bird he's going to play his burrowing owl so he plays everything that he got puts his cube up there to show that that's done and yeah they don't activate yet because it's uh, there are when played abilities on some cards but these are when activated abilities so they will only kick off when we take the actions of the rows that they're in my turn and I can get food yeah I'm not in a great situation because the food that's available I'm not too happy about Let's see, the Northern Shoveler here. Oh, I kept it because it was the right habitat, didn't I? Are there any in here that only want to live in the water? No. I do want to see that the Baltimore Oriole here does really want berries, and there's a lot of berries in this bird feeder, which actually, which actually wasn't put together that well. <laughs> Look at this glorious dice tower. And this is, yeah, this is where the birds are going to come and get their food. Very thematic, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, I could go for one of these birds that really wants berries because I can really easily get berries. Or I could try and wait until Marty takes food and hope that the dice say something different later on. Because if there is only one type of food left in the feeder, before you pick what you want, you get the option to put all of the dice through the dice tower again. So There is a choice at the moment. But I think Marty's going to wait until I've taken food because his burrowing owl gets a little bonus from dice that have already been used from the bird feeder. So what do we want to do? I think let's get some food. Do I want to pay? Yeah, I've got very expensive birds, haven't I? I'm going to gain food from the bird feeder. So my cube goes here. I get a food from the bird feeder, one of the dice. I am going to go for... The mouse, because I want the option to re-roll everything there. I now have the choice. Do I want to pay a card to take another resource? Yes. I'm going to give up the opportunity to get the wren right now. But I'm going to get another resource. And now I can take all of these berries and the dice that was used. So Marty's not going to get a benefit from this, really. And I am going to put them all back in the feeder. A little bit awkward while I'm holding all of this. So now we have some real choice, and I want to go for wheat the most, I think. Yeah, let's go for, or we could go for the slug, yeah. We'll go for the slug. This is either or. I'm going to go for the slug. And, oh, I already have a slug, so why would I do that? I'm going to take this so Marty can't have the slug, and I'm going to choose wheat. Okay. Then we move on to the bird here. Each player gains... A food from the bird feeder, starting with the player of your choice. So yeah, I could, I could actually have not paid the card and forced Marty to go. And then re-rolled, yeah. But then he could have re-rolled. It'll all work out. So if I took... Yeah, I've got a mouse as well. If I took another wheat, then I can put that northern shoveler out. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose the wheat. Okay. Marty, what food does he want the most? He wants mice and a slug and a fish. So I think he'll just choose the mouse. And that's three dice out of the feeder now, so he has actually benefited from that when his owl, uh, his owl's ability happens. We've done all of the birds now, so the cube goes back here, and I'm done with my action. Marty is going to try and take the opportunity right now to use his owl's ability, so he is going to lay some eggs on birds. So he gets two eggs, unless he wants to pay any resource to get a third egg. I think he's just going to take the two for now. So the eggs, the colour doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it's up to you what you want, really. And yeah, we've, we've done extensive testing backstage here at Slicker Drips, and these are not, in fact, mini eggs. They are just miniature eggs. So we take two eggs, and you can distribute them among uh, birds of your choice, as long as they have space in their nests. And so we have this burrowing owl here. It's now got two eggs, and these are points at the end of the game. The owl's, the owl's worth five points. Each egg is worth a point. Some birds can get cards underneath them. They're worth a point each as well. But anyway, we've got the two eggs. We now move over here. When activated, this is a uh, predator ability. Roll all the dice, not in the bird feeder. If they are mice, gain a mouse. 
and put it on this card. So it doesn't give Marty resources, but it puts mice on here and their points at the end of the game as well. So we can take these three dice that aren't in the feeder, roll them, and yeah, he, if he rolled three mice, he still only gets one on his card, but it just gives him more chance. So he's going to go for that. He's rolled a mouse, so he takes a mouse and puts it on his card. And that's uh, the owl's gone hunting, found a mouse, and is more prestigious because of that. That's his only ability on that row. So that goes back to the start. And yeah, his action's done. My turn. I do want some more cards, but I have the food to be able to put my uh, Northern Shoveler out. So I think we are going to play a bird again. No cost for the first column, apart from obviously the food cost on the card. So two wheat and a slug. And it has to go in the river, but I want uh, things in the river for my goal. Okay, and yeah, that's the end of my turn. Marty can't put another bird out, so I think he's gonna have to go for some resources. But the resources in there, it's, it's a pretty rubbish choice for him, really. Yeah, since he hasn't got a bird in there, he's not going to have the opportunity to pay a card for an extra one and be able to re-roll them or anything like that. What should he do? I think... He's hoping that I will take resources, but... You know, he knows that I haven't got any cards. Presumably, he can look across the table and see there's nothing in my hand. I think he's going to gain food. He's going to get a fish. And if he can get some more, if he chooses get food again, he can reroll the dice and hopefully get the slug that he needs to put this out. But this copies a power in the same habitat. He really wants the barn owl out, but that's, that's two mice that he needs. Back over to me then, and I think we are drawing bird cards. So I haven't got any eggs to pay for more, so yeah, I'm just getting the one card. I don't particularly want these ones, I don't think. I have a mouse right now. Yeah, do I just take my chances on the top of the deck? I think I do. All of this comes with the game, by the way, all of these game trays, these custom uh, etched things, all of it comes in the box. So what have we got here? We've got a California condor. Doesn't take any food. It's only worth a point, you can only have one egg on it, it can go anywhere, but uh, you do get some more bonus cards from putting it out, so that's, that's an option that I've got. Oh, then we do the Northern Shoveler, so all players draw a card from the deck, so we don't get the choice from the display here. I've got the cards upside down, haven't I? So I've got the Tufted Titmouse. Uh, when played, put a, play a second bird in your forest, pay its normal cost. So yeah, that, that could be good. If I, if I get the food for the titmouse, then the condor could go out for free in the same place. And it, this could, you know, accelerate my, uh, my powers here. If I put them both in the forest up here, then yeah, I, I would be getting a lot of food with one action. But, you know, this is space running out. Hmm. Okay, Marty, Marty also gets a card, doesn't he? Uh, he gets the American Oyster Catcher. So when you play this, you draw bird cards equal to the number of players plus one. Starting with you and proceeding clockwise, everyone takes one of these cards and puts it in their hand. You keep the extra card. Ooh, that could be a good option. That would have been really nice for me because it lives in water. So we've done the Shoveler's ability, and that's the end of my action. Next up, it's a bit slow going for Marty. I think he's going to gain food again. Uh, but he is going to roll all of the dice again. It's tempting. Does he want to do the owl's ability and get some more points on the owl? I think there's going to be plenty of chance for that, though. He, he does need to step up his game uh, food-wise. So you take all of the dice and put them through the tower again. And what did he want? He wanted a... He's got the fish. He wanted a slug. So, yeah, he can, uh, he can pick that. He'll take the slug so he can play he can play a bird again next time but it's yeah it's not a particularly great bird don't focus on the negatives it's gonna be an amazing bird don't you worry okay my turn am I gonna do I need some food to be able to put the tip mass out so I think yeah we are gonna go for uh, gain food I don't want to pay a card to get an extra one so I'm just getting one food unfortunately what's it gonna be 
I I want to stop Marty. <laughs> I don't know what he's going for. I could I could stop him getting more slugs. So we need slug, wheat, or berry. And so I think I think we'll just go for a slug. Okay, I think we'll I think I think Marty is gonna play a bird and it's going to be the hooded merganza and it has to go in there. Can't repeat anything with its power yet, but it's gonna help him get more cards with one action. I, I think it's a good idea still. So he needs to pay a slug and a fish. I have just realized though for my grand plan, I'm gonna need two eggs to be able to play any more cards into the forest. So yeah, I'm gonna to have to take a bit of a weak action myself and lay eggs on birds. And I do wanna keep eggs on the birds for the, uh, for, the, for the goal, at least on the hummingbird. Take two eggs. Let's just put them on the hummingbird because they are gonna be spent quite soon. So yeah, my, my remaining actions are probably gonna be put more birds out, put eggs out, so I at least get something from the goal. I've not done very well on the goal really, have I? I think Marty's gonna get food again. He is gonna get a slug to hopefully work towards uh, the oyster catcher. Even though, yeah, it's the, the barn owl has got the right nest for round two. But for round one, I think we're each only gonna get one point. Unless I can get another bird out from somewhere. Yeah, I've got, I've got a hummingbird with an egg on it that's got the right type of nest. Marty's got the burrowing owl, which counts as any type of nest. Hopefully there are still eggs on there by the end of the round. So I needed to, I, I laid the eggs, now I'm gonna play a bird. Oh, did I not do my hummingbird ability? Everyone gains a, a food from the bird feeder. Oh no. Well, we'll 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 stick uh, we'll stick with these dice. I will I'll pick a wheat, and Marty will get a, a fish. I know that doesn't fix it exactly, but yeah, I forgot to keep moving the cube. The cube's even there to remind me. Uh, so what are we doing? We're playing birds. We are playing the tufted titmouse over here. I need to pay an egg to put something in that column. And we are paying a slug, aren't we, to be able to play the titmouse. When you play this, play a second bird in your forest, pay its normal cost. There is no cost for the condor, but you need to pay the egg still. So no eggs again. And when you play the condor, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. So what have we got? Backyard birder, birds worth less than four points. Well, I've got two of those so far. 42% of cards are worth less than four points. You need five to sit, you need five though to score anything for this goal. And here we have ecologist, birds in your habitat with the fewest birds. Uh, ties count, if you have three birds in, your, in each habitat, the bird with the, the habitat with the fewest birds has three birds, okay. So at the moment I would get zero, but if I could balance it all out, that could be worth a lot. Yeah, we'll go for Ecologist. So Backyard Verdict can go from whence it came, and that is my action done. Marty's got two left as well. What's he going to be able to do before the end of this round? Is he going to be able to get the Oyster Catcher out? Not that it makes a difference to his uh, bonuses. I think... Oh, there's, there's no dice in here, so... I believe they all get re-rolled when there is no dice in there. Because you know you need to see what's available. Because yeah, Marty wants mice for the barn owl. Unfortunately, they, uh, they just aren't coming out here. He could get slugs, it's just that you'd have to spend both actions just get... Oh, he's got one slug. So does he get another slug, put the oyster catcher out? It's, it seems okay, doesn't it? So he's gonna gain food, get himself a slug. My final action. It was going to be eggs, wasn't it? Yeah. So I, have, I don't know what cards I'm getting for next round. I'm not really uh, ready for getting things. I'm, I'm just getting two eggs as well again. Twice I've taken this action. I've got no birds in this row. So we'll put one on the hummingbird. And we, we want one on the, uh, on the narrow nests as well. So let's put one on the titmouse. Because we, you only need one egg on here to score this goal. This is birds with this nest with eggs. So it doesn't matter how many eggs are on there, at least one. This though is eggs in those nests. The number of eggs will matter in round two. Okay, Marty's final action. 
He's putting the oyster catcher out, isn't he? So where's it going? It's going... It has to go in the water. Marty's doing better at my objective than I am. He needs to pay two slugs. He also needs to pay an egg. That's not going to affect his objective, though. And when you play the oyster catcher, draw bird cards equal to the number of players plus one. Okay, so Marty gets first pick, then I'm going to take one, and then Marty gets the other one. What's he got here? Yellow-headed blackbird. When you activate this, tuck a card from your hand behind the bird. And if you do, you can lay an egg on it. You can only have three eggs on there, though. So you probably want to keep spending them so you can keep doing that. The house wren. Play a second bird in either the fields or the forest. Or another great, a great horned owl. I look at a card from the deck. If the bird is under 100 centimeters, tuck it under the card. Ooh. Now, I do like Marty having an owl sanctuary. I'm just thinking strategy-wise, th thematically, yeah, I'd like to keep doing that. Uh, strategy-wise, though, uh, mice, mice are not really coming up in this bird feeder, are they? I think it would be good to... I think the yellow-headed blackbird seems the most attractive. Hmm. Or do we just go cheap? I think he's going to go cheap and put the house wren out because maybe he'll get the mice as well and can put the barn owl out at the same time. None of them need fish, which is uh, the resources that he's got. You can use, though, you can use two of a resource as another resource. It's worth remembering. So uh, these pass over to me and I'm going to get one. I want the yellow headed blackbird because I want birds that only uh, live on water. And so Marty does get his owl. Okay then, it's the end of round one, so we remove all of our action cubes from our player boards. Then we look at how many times we achieved the goal. We each only did it once. So yeah, no advantage to a player and yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, opportunity missed there, I feel. The face-up birds in the display get discarded, which is, is good because yeah, it's, uh, it's not great to start the game off with such expensive birds, is it? Oh, the, the American woodcock bear. Is another expensive one. Here we go. I thought that said Christopher Sparrow there. <laughs> Would have been a lovely name for him. Uh, there we go. We've got some. Uh, we've got some cheaper birds as well. Some smaller birds, and they haven't got the right nest we need for the round two. We need the the tall nest. But yeah, it could be good. And finally, Marty gets the first player marker. Now for round three, we do want a lot of birds in the fields. So maybe Marty wants to put all these in the fields. But you you want stuff in all of them so that you can. Get more effective actions. He's only getting one food at a time here. I think he's going to start out getting food. He's going to get a slug so that he can play his house wren. But that does mean he wants the mice to be able to play uh, one of the owls too. Or, or maybe he's going to draw some more cards with this action. Maybe he wants to do that first. I think he does actually. We're going to reverse that a little bit and he's going to go for his uh, draw the bird cards. But he doesn't get any benefit from the birds, does he? Ah, either way, let's just cut that out. Okay, for me, I need... I need a slug to be able to put the blackbird out. And I can get quite a lot of, uh, of food here. Yeah, let's, let's take that as my first action. So I can choose two dice. I can discard a card to get a third one, but I'm not going to do that because I've only got the one card and I want that bird. So I need... A slug, so let's definitely take that one. And looking at what's out here, they don't need berries. So just based off that, I'm going to go for a wheat. And so then we go back. These are when played abilities, so they don't apply again. We have a when activated ability. Each player gains a dice from the bird feeder, starting with the player of your choice. Uh, no, I'll start with me. Yeah, I'll start with me, actually, because there's only one type of food in the bird feeder. So I can choose to grab all of the dice. Drop one. There we go. <laughs> I found them in the end. So what do I need? I don't need any particular type of food. So I will go for... I will just go for more slugs, I think. And Marty gets one as well. Hmm, no mice still for him. I think then he will take, he'll take wheat. You know, if he gets one more food, it's back to him now, isn't it? Yeah, my cube is finished with. Back to him now. If he gets one more food, 
then it's it's expensive, but then he can at least get his owl out. Yeah, he'll get he'll get one more food. He'll go for another fish. Why not? And so then he's got enough food to do his uh, his big plays. My turn. I've got the food, haven't I, to be able to play my yellow-headed blackbird. Yeah, I think play a bird. My blackbird goes there. I need to pay the slug and the wheat. And nothing else happens right now. Marty is going to go for his expensive thing. He is going to play a bird. Oh, where's he going to play them, though? So if he plays them here, this is better for the goal. But he needs two eggs and he's only got one. Plays them up here. This is better for getting food, which, let's face it, Marty could do with. And he did want the barn owl down here, so he's got a predator ability down there. Maybe he's not ready. Maybe he's got to keep getting more food. So he could play the great horned owl. But that's, that's another two actions, just getting food bit by bit. I think we have to delay the owls, unfortunately. He's going to draw bird cards. So he gets two cards. He's going to go for the Grasshopper Sparrow, just because it's a cheap card that he can get out. And it uh, can go in the row that will be needed for the goal in round three. These don't fill up just yet. The Loggerhead Shrike here. Woods between turns, so this is an ability that happens when other players are doing things. When another player takes the gain food action, if they gain mice, also get a mouse from the supply and put it on the card. I think he's going to go random though. What does he get? The Blue Winged Warbler. Great name. There's some great names in this game. Uh, so uh, huge, huge points. Doesn't do anything, but eight points just for having this out. And it needs slugs, which based on the bird feed of this game are uh, quite easy to get. Then we come back. Uh, he can't copy a power because he hasn't got one. But yeah, he's got, he's got some more cards, a few more options rather than just getting food one at a time to be able to put those owls out. My turn, I have no, oh, we, we need to replace the card there. We've got a brown pelican that needs fish, and Marty's got a lot of fish. And when you play it, you get three more fish. That's tempting. Anyway, that's Marty's, uh, that's Marty's temptation, not mine. So what have I got? I've got a slug, a wheat, and a mouse. I could get that loggerhead shrike. Anyway, I'm going to draw bird cards because I've got no options at the moment. I'm just going to go. Uh, blind, I think. I'm not going to go blind, but I'm going to draw blind. And so I've got, oh, perfect. Two cards that both only go in the water. So down here, took a card from your hand behind this bird. And if you do put an egg on it, oh, I want that. Barrow's golden eye. <laughs> Names are amazing. Uh, when another player takes the lay eggs action, this bird lays an egg on another bird with that type of nest. And I've got other birds with that type of nest. I don't want to give up any cards. Sorry, yellow-headed blackbird. You're going to have to be let down for now. Northern Shoveler, everyone draws a card from the deck. I get a Anhinga. Uh, two fish to play. Another one that only wants to be in water. Uh, predator ability. Roll all the dice. And that's same as Marty's ability, but with fish rather than mice. Marty got uh, a hooded warbler. Marty's really going for warblers. He wants colours as well, hasn't he? He hasn't come across any colours to my knowledge yet. Although I'm sure he's been skipping ones, like the brown pelican here. Oh, that's another... Yeah, he was tempted by that, wasn't he? It's even more tempting. It's got a colour in the name. Have we skipped past? Yeah, the yellow-billed cuckoo. Yeah, we've skipped past some colour... Uh, some birds with colour in the name. Where am I? Uh, the northern shoveler is done. My action is done. Marty... I think is going to delay even more. He's going to draw bird cards again. This seems silly. No, it doesn't. He's going to draw cards. He's going to get the brown pelican. Because that, that works for him twice. And he's going to take one from the deck. Uh, the eastern kingbird. When another player plays a forest bird, get a uh, slug from the supply. This refills at the end of his turn. He can't uh, do any abilities on his birds, so it's back to me. I want food, don't I? Because I can't play any of these. And I could give up a card now, the Anhinga maybe, to get more resources. So I need another slug, don't I? I'm, I'm just going to get the two. Yeah, just going to get the two. 
slug I need. I don't need the berry, so for my second resource, I'm going to choose to re-roll these. Still no mice for Marty. Shall we? We'll put this through again. Oh, I think that would have been a berry if uh, the the wheat had let it had a bit of freedom. Still not a mouse. Sorry, Marty. So I get one more thing, don't I? I could get the golden eye out if I had a fish. No fish have come out. That's a bit of a shame. And because my other one needs fish too. Let's just go for, let's go for another slug then, because if I play the stilt, I'm not going to have any slugs left. Moving back through, I get another resource. I'm going to have, let's just have another slug. Why not? So we could use these as wilds to play uh, the things that we want as well. And Marty gets one as well. Oh, he's got so many birds to play now. What does he want to do? He wants a mouse, of course, but he can't do that. I think he's going to take a berry to play his Eastern Kingbird. Okay, we are done there. Marty's turn, he absolutely needs to play some birds, doesn't he? Oh, he hasn't laid eggs, he's got, uh, yeah, he's got three actions left like me. He has to play some birds. I think we, we want to get some in the forest. Yeah. Going to play the house wren by luring it in with a slug. And this lets him play a second bird in his fields or his forest. It's going to be in the forest. He could get an owl out or a hooded warbler. He wants that brown pelican out as well, thinking about it. Uh, but anyway, the Eastern Kingbird is going to go out. So if I play birds in my forest, Marty's going to get a taste. Uh, and the egg on the owl needs to be paid to put that bird out. And we need to pay a berry. My turn. I'm going to play a bird. And I think I would like to get the black necked stilt out. Because I have loads of food for it. It cost me an egg. So I want the egg taken from the ability that's already been used and when you play it, draw two bird cards. Do I want anything from the display here? Green Heron, when activated, trade a food for any other from the supply. And it's got a colour on it. Marty would really want that. But yeah, that's, that seems really good. I've got too many cards now that want to be in the water, though. It'll be fine. And then I'm going to take a random one, I think. Mallard, another one that only want, that can only be in the water. But these can be spent for, you know, the, the Blackbird's ability and things like that. We need to fill up the display with King Rail. And where are we? That's my action, isn't it? Just play birds. Marty. He's not doing so well for eggs. So I think his last two actions are going to be getting eggs onto these things. He's going to come here. He's going to pay one of his fish to be able to put three eggs out. And they want to be on those tall nests because that's the goal for this round. The house wren here can have five eggs on it. Well, because it's only worth one point by itself. So they're all going to go on there. Then roll all the dice not in the feeder. And if he gets a mouse, then it can go on the card. Unfortunately, not this time. And that's it for Marty's egg laying. I could be thinking about the same thing. I've only got that one bird out. Let's draw bird cards and see where that gets us. No, I want to... Oh. I want to put the mallard there first so I've got more abilities when I do that. Or I want a fish so I can play the golden eye. But can I only have one point on this goal again? When Marty's going to get at least three, maybe even five? Okay, let's forsake the goals for now. Oh, but this is, it's cost you eggs to put the birds out. I can't put more birds out without more eggs. Let's, yeah, we've, we've only got birds that go down here, so we can't boost the lay eggs action. We're just going to get two eggs, put them on the right type of bird. And yeah, we'll play cards next round when we can take these eggs off. Even though that's, that's costing us points. These, point, these eggs are points. 
Marty, just going to do the same thing again. Lay eggs. He gets three again because he's paying a resource. And he should put them on the owl, really, because the owl counts as everything. But for the final goal, we want sets of eggs in each of the habitats. That means one in the wetlands, one in the fields, one in the forest. So for each set of those that you've got, so at the moment, if he got some in the, if he got three more in the wetlands, then he would have three sets there. Yeah. Okay, and he does the, uh, the predator ability again. Doesn't get a mouse. These mice are really elusive on these dice this game, aren't they? I've got my final action. I don't want to spend all of those, all of those um, eggs, do I? So do I want to just draw cards? I've got some more options for next round. Because I, I, birds in here is the goal next round. Yeah, let's just draw some cards. I'm not going to pay an egg. I get two cards. What do I want? I want cards that don't cost as much. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to draw two from the top of the deck. So what have I got here? The bronzed cowbird. Brilliant. When another player lays eggs, this bird lays another. So if I could get these out, when we're panicking and laying loads of eggs towards the end, or any time Marty lays eggs, I could get a load of stuff. Or the cedar waxwing. Uh, when you activate this, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird, and if you do, get a berry from the supply. That could be good, because I've got loads of cards to give up, especially if I'm filling up this row because of my goal. So they're the two cards from that. Then I can tuck a card from my hand behind this bird. I am going to do this predator, I think. I don't want it. So that is a point. There, at the end of the game, for having a card underneath. And if you do, also lay an egg on this bird. It's not the type that we need for the goal, but having eggs to spend is helpful, and it's a point if I don't spend it. And then we move back here. All players draw a card from the deck. So yeah, I am card crazy. I've got a wild turkey. Another one that doesn't have an ability, but is worth loads of points. Marty gets a horned lark. And that's it for the round. So we take our cubes off. And score our goals. I've got three eggs in that type of nest. Marty has got three six, but your maximum is five. So he's got me beat there. Next round, it's the number of birds you've got in the fields. At the moment, Marty's winning me one to nothing. Uh, Marty passes this over. We need to clear the birds from the display. Sorry, your highness, King Rail has not been taken. We've got wood duck. We've got black skimmer. There's color in the name. Marty wants it. And the greater prairie chicken. Okay, my turn. I think I want to start by playing a bird. I want to get this bronzed cowbird out right away to try and take advantage whenever Marty lays eggs. I need to pay the slug and the wheat to do that. No eggs because that's in the first column. And that's my turn. Marty is going to go and play a bird as well. He needs to pay an egg because he is putting the brown pelican out and it's an egg for that column. Needs to pay his two fish, that's all he's got. But when he plays the brown pelican, he gains three from the supply. My turn, and I want resources. I could give up a card, couldn't I? Because I've got loads. I don't think I need to draw more cards when I draw cards. Have these as the last water cards that I get out. I'm going to discard a card so I can get another resource. So the first one, we do need wheat. I'm going to do wheat, wheat. I don't want to re-roll them because I'm happy having wheat because turkey needs some, the golden eye needs some. Then we roll all of the dice again. See what my third one's going to be. Now I do need a fish for the heron. I need a fish for the golden eye as well. There's only one there, so I'm going to have that fish. Then nothing there, nothing there. And now each player gains a dice. I do need a berry for the wild turkey if I'm getting that out, or the wax wing. Or I could get another worm, another slug, so I could play both of these and fill up my river and get tons of cards, things. Now let's get a berry. Okay. And Marty is rejoicing. He finally gets a mouse. So he could probably put one of his owls out now. One more resource, he could put the great horned owl out. And then get to copy that. Oh, it's not in the same row, is it? 
put the barn owl out in here and then finally get to copy it with the Mergenzer. Okay, that was me, wasn't it? Gaining food. Done. Marty. He is going to gain food because he wants to try and get this horned lark out, knowing that I'm going to really try and play cards to the fields. This is where he can get the benefit of that happening. So he's going to take a wheat. He's going to take a slug. And then for his second, he's going to choose to reroll them all because only one type of food is showing. I really like this system. It means that you've always got a, a nice choice of food. And he needs a wheat now. So, oh, there's a mouse though. He's tempted to go for the mouse instead, but no, he's going to stick with the plan and get wheat. My turn. And yeah, I really want the golden eye out, don't I? So I'm going to play. I'm going to play a bird. It's going to cost me two eggs. A lot of eggs. We need to pay a slug, a wheat, and a fish. And nothing happens when we play the card, of course. Marty is playing a bird again. It's going to cost him an egg this time. The horned lark goes out. And when I play birds to the fields, he can tuck a card from his hand behind the horned lark and make it worth more points. He needs to pay a slug and a wheat. I think he's going to be trying to get that mouse in a minute. My turn. And I'm a bit annoyed because, yeah, that's, that was my plan to be playing, playing cards to the fields. I need more berries, more wheat, more of a lot of stuff, really. So I think I'm going to go for resources. Do I want to pay a card? I haven't really got that many cards now, have I? I don't want to pay a card for another one. I'm going to go for wheat here because I need some more and then so I can re-roll them although I'd be happy with a slug wouldn't I I wanted to re-roll so I can get berries yeah so I can re-roll them in a minute I'm going to take the mouse sorry Marty but I don't know that you need the mouse I don't need the mice I've just got them sitting here uh, so we do my ability now. Everyone gets one more. I'm going to choose to roll everything again. And what did I want? I wanted berries, didn't I? I've not succeeded there. Get the slug so we could get the heron, maybe. We can use the mice as, a, as another berry if we wanted the wax wing out, because then that does get us more berries to be able to put the turkey out. Let's... Let's just get a slug so we can put the heron out. Okay, and Marty gets his choice as well. He's <laughs> really gutted. But yeah, the, the fish is gone and the slugs have all gone. If he needs, I think he's just going to take a wheat. So Marty just needs to be playing some birds, I think. He's going to play again. He's going to pay an egg because he's putting the grasshopper sparrow out in this column that wants one. He needs to pay his wheat to do that. And yes, it's more cards in the row that he wants. I think on my turn, I'm going to break Marty's heart a little bit. I don't need these mice. I'm going to play a bird. Uh, it's tempting to do the wild turkey, but I want the cedar waxwing here. So I'm going to pay one berry and then two mice to make up for the berry I don't have. And unfortunately for me, Marty's horned lark kicks in here. When another player plays a bird to the fields, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. He's going to do the... It's a lot of points on the Hooded Warbler just for two resources there. Maybe he should do his owl because there's so little chance of it actually coming out. Mm, he's going to... He's not even going to get that much chance to activate, is it, the power? He's going to give up on his owl sanctuary. He's been, you know, he's been dreaming of that ever since round one. But yeah, it's, it's gone away now. The, he's made friends with the Horned Lark, and he's not going to be part of this uh, menagerie. Okay, then Marty's turn. He's only got, he's only got two turns left. He's going to go for the Barn Owl. He's going to play a bird. It's going to cost him two eggs to go in this column, so this is more or less all of his eggs. But yeah, he's going to go for the Barn Owl there. That's two mice. So that's one actual mouse and two fish. Make a mouse. And yeah, that's him done. My final action. I can't put the turkey out if I wanted to. 
so what should I do? So I can't put any more cards in the row that I need to for this round. So yeah, again, not doing very well on the goals. But am I making the points <laughs> elsewhere? I don't know that I am. I could get some eggs out. Or just draw a load of cards and took a card in there, which is a point, and get another egg on there, which is a point. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get a load of eggs. Not eggs, cards. Uh, I'm going to draw three cards. So what's out here? The wood duck. The black skimmer, the greater prairie chicken. Not too fussed about any of those. I'm just going to take three from the deck. What have we got here? Sandhill Crane, discard a wheat to took two cards behind this bird. Wow. Says Phoebe. Uh, lay an egg on each of your birds with a bowl nest when you play the card. And Purple Martin. <laughs> Hello, Martin. Uh, when you activate it, took a card from your hand behind this card. And if you do, draw another card. Hmm. So then, uh, what else activates? Took a card behind this bird. I think Says Phoebe is. Uh, yeah, not looking very likely at this point in the game anyway. And I get to lay an egg on the blackbird. And then everyone draws a card from the deck. I got the Savannah Sparrow, which lets you play an extra card to the field. Would have been brilliant a little bit earlier on. And Marty gets uh, Danny Woodpecker. Downy Woodpecker. Uh, play a second bird in your forest. Play its normal cost. Okay, so that's it for me, isn't it? Yep. And Marty. He can't get another card out, unfortunately. Maybe he wants to uh, lay eggs. He knows it's going to benefit me, but he can lay four eggs with just one action. He's going to go for it. And all of these abilities. So. He wanted the barn owl down here, though, didn't he? So that the this hooded guy, the hooded claw, could benefit. Anyway, we're sticking with it. He gets four eggs. One, two, three, four. He wants to kind of spread these out evenly, doesn't he? Because of the goal for round four. He's going to put them out like that. Then roll all the dice not in there. Only two, sadly. So he wants mice. He gets one. Brilliant. There we go. One on the bar now. Lay an egg on any bird. He will do it on the wren here to balance things out. Then that's a between turns ability. Roll all the dice again and see if we can get, see if the burrowing owl can uh, find a mouse for two. No, unfortunately not. It got berries and wheat. And that's it for Marty's laying eggs. Unfortunately for Marty, this really helps me. It, it does, you know, it's, it's, that action got him four, five points. But it's going to get me two points because my bronzed cowbird kicks in. I can, uh, this bird will lay an egg in someone else's nest. And this is kind of, I haven't really talked about this enough, I don't think. But this is really thematic. That This is how the birds, it, it, the powers are based on how the birds act in real life. So cowbirds lay eggs in other birds' nest and often break or push out the host bird's eggs. So yeah, that's, that's why you can't put any eggs on the cowbird. I hope I haven't done that in the course of the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, they go in another one. So it goes in a bowl nest and there is one there perfectly for me. And the golden eye will lay their eggs in the nest of any cavity nesting duck. So we need one on that type of nest. It's, a, it's another bird with that type of nest. So not this one. And the only other one I believe is the tufted titmouse. So it's worked out. It's, so Marty got five points for his action. But I got two points from him doing that. And that will happen every single time that he does that now. And in our games anyway, towards the end of the game, as you've kind of built up your uh, collection, your gang of birds, you then start thinking, oh, maybe we should just go for eggs now because you so many points per action. Anyway, that's just me. So we get rid of the cubes again. How many times did we do the ability? Cards in your field row. I only got two. Marty got... One, two, three, four. And we move on to round four. What else do we need to do? We need to get rid of the, yeah, maybe Marty should have got the black skimmer. He's not doing particularly well at his ability for the end of the game. Maybe that's going to help me out a little bit. Brown-headed cowbird is a, is a color though, isn't it, Marty? And this is kind of, he could use the ability I've taken against him against me. What uh, colors has he got out right now? Just got the brown pelican and he needs two to three birds to score anything. I don't think he's going to get the six birds now because, yeah, it's a bit late in the day, isn't it? 
And Marty's going to be the first player for this final round. The round where we only get five actions. So yeah, make them count. So he needs food, but not the food that is in the feeder. I think that's still going to be his action. Yeah, still going to be his action because he's going to take wheat, which can be used to get the Danny Woodpecker out, but also could be used to get the brown-headed cowbird out. Which is maybe better because maybe I'm going to lay some eggs. And for his second food, he can now roll all of the dice. And he wants, he wants slugs, slugs, slugs. That was just a slug originally. There we go. So uh, yeah, he's a bit close to getting the, the blue winged warbler, which is a color, isn't it? So maybe he doesn't need the brown headed cowbird. Okay. No abilities for him to kick off. What do I want to do? The Savannah Sparrow is nice because if I can get four cards in each of my things, that's eight points for my goal. If I can even up all of the habitats. If I get some more food, maybe I could do the Savannah Sparrow and then something else. But I do want, I do want to fill up my water row. So I'm going to play a bird. Just pay a slug. The green heron can go out there. All birds that just want to be in the wetlands. So I need to pay two eggs as well. So let's try and even it up as best I can. And yeah, that's that. So that is going to be seven points for the objective of getting birds in the wetlands. Marty, what was he doing? He needs more food, doesn't he really? But he, he needs slugs is all he can get. I think he's going to go. It's a little bit late in the day, isn't it? It's for... For putting more birds out, maybe. Maybe he just wants to go for eggs and just get tons and tons and tons of eggs. But yeah, for every for every four eggs he's getting out from this, I'm benefiting twice. And he does get he gets an extra egg from the grasshopper sparrow, and then potentially two more points from the owls as well. Because getting cards is not good for him at all because of the cards that I've played for him down here. Yeah, putting that out without anything to copy was silly. Yeah, this, is, this tends to be the way my thought process tends to go over the course of the game that they, oh, maybe now I should just get more eggs. But yeah, someone inevitably has those copying powers. I think... Hmm... Yeah, Marty's going to play a bird. This is going to cost him two eggs. Ruining his symmetry, unfortunately. He's going to put the blue-winged warbler out because that is the last, that's the last coloured bird that he needs to, to meet the minimum requirement of having two of them. He can pay a slug and two other things. And that's, it's eight points, you know, and it does unlock the ability to get an extra egg if he pays a resource. He hasn't got any resources. Maybe I'm going to get resources though, and he can, uh, he can piggyback off that a bit. And, you know, he's right, I am going to get resources. Do I want to pay a card? So I'm going to be playing the Savannah Sparrow. And can I play the wild turkey? There is a wheat and a berry out there. I think I can play the wild turkey. So how many resources do I need for that? I need, all I need is another wheat and a berry. Yeah, so I don't want to give up a card to do that. I am just going to... Although we get, yeah, I'm just going to take a wheat and a berry, and that's it. So I can get more with my uh, powers. Okay then, and yeah, we can get one more resource. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to I'm going to let Marty go first. So he'll he'll take a wheat, and then I'm going to put them all back in so I can re-roll them. And what have we got? What do we need? I think just more wheat would be nice. Okay, that's my resource gathering. Marty is going to go for laying eggs. He's going to pay the resource. So that's going to get him five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's even these out a bit. 
Oh yeah, perfectly even. Then, oh, there's only one dice that's not in the feeder, so not very much chance of this happening, unfortunately. But it happened. <laughs> Perfect. He gets uh, a, a mouse on there. Lay an egg on any bird. Let's uh, let's put it on there. Why why ruin the <laughs> the method uh, when another person plays a thingy bird? So that's not one. And roll this. Maybe this is going to be a mouse again. No, not quite. And then I get an egg on a bowl nest and an egg on a cavity nest. Not this cavity nest. Let's, let's make the bowl nest this one because the cavity nest is up here as well and we want to even them across the habitats, don't we? Okay, that was Marty's turn. My turn is going to be play bird. Play bird. And I need to pay three eggs. One, two, three eggs to be playing two birds here. I'm going to play the Savannah Sparrow for a wheat, which lets me play another bird. I'm going to play the Wild Turkey there. That is two wheat and a berry. But don't worry, I've got, I've got the food to pay for all of this. Marty's ability kicks in. He can tuck a card from his hand under this bird. He's going to do that. Uh, yeah, this, this bit is awkward uh, with one hand. <laughs> oh, there we go. I didn't mess up too many things. And what did I do? I just played a bird, didn't I? Yeah. That doesn't kick in twice, by the way, because it's just once between turns, even though I played two birds to that habitat with that action. Marty? Does he just stick with... I think he just sticks with getting eggs. He hasn't got any resources to pay. Maybe you, you can tell me in the comments if this was worth doing or if there's something better he could have done. I'm sure there's something better, if I could, uh, if I could think of it. So he gets four eggs. Now, uh, these two are full, so I'm just going to move on to the second column, even though I can put one more there, just so I can see more easily uh, how we're evening this out. Although, only one more egg and we're completely even, which, and this grasshopper sparrow can lay an egg anywhere. Okay then? And it's often overlooked. Poor grasshopper sparrow. Well, not in this game. You're the star of this game, if Marty wins. Uh, he needs a mouse. Nope. Barn owl goes hungry. Uh, an egg on any bird. The oyster catcher finally lays an egg. And then finally, the uh, burrowing owl doesn't catch anything. He hasn't caught anything since the beginning of the game. I get two eggs, don't I? One on a cavity nest, one on a bowl nest. Is it time now that I haven't got any resources or anything to just lay eggs? I can get a load of cards. Cards are worth absolutely nothing at the end of the game. I, the most, I, I get two points for doing this, but then I'm, unless I draw an amazing bird that only needs wheat. Well, there is, there's the brown-headed cowbird there, but that's my last two actions. Draw the card, play the card, and I've got three points. Whereas if I laid eggs twice, that's eight points. And I can tuck cards behind here, which are worth points, and then get resources that I don't need, but yeah, we're gonna lay eggs. Just like Marty's, so, sorry for anyone expecting a big revelation at the end of the game. And I'm sure, yeah, you could talk strategy and things once, uh, once people are playing, because yeah, this is, this is just the way my mind goes, that I just panic and think, lay eggs! Uh, four eggs, so let's... I want to even them out, but I don't want to fill up the ones that uh, get laid in when Marty inadvertently helps me out. Okay, four eggs, and then the only ability, I can tuck a bird under the wax wing and get a berry. I'm going to do that. Let's give up purple Martin. Sorry, Martin. Marty doesn't get anything from me doing that, and he... <laughs> Sorry to bore you all, but he's going to lay eggs again. That's four eggs. One, two, three, four. And they are going to go like this. Roll the dice. Still, yep, yeah, nobody taking resources at this stage of the game. He gets a mouse, though. Well done, Marty. And in there, lay another egg. And then the burrowing owl. Come on. The bone owl's putting you to shame, burrowing owl. And that's it for Marty's final action. And for me, yep, you guessed it. Unfortunately, I don't get the option of paying a resource for another egg. So we're just going to even it. Oh, Marty, Marty laid eggs, so I get my two freebies. So one in a cavity, one in a bowl. And then I will lay mine for my actual action. 
And then I can tuck another card under here, get another berry, although, yeah, not worth anything at the end. But the, the card under there is worth a point, so that's why it's worth doing. End of the round, push all of those off. How many sets of eggs? I think I've got four, which isn't bad, is it? One, two, three, four there, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So four sets across the habitats. Not bad. Marty absolutely got the maximum of five and is, yeah, egg crazy over here. And okay then, that's four rounds of the game and it's time to start everything up and see how we did. So first of all, the points on your bird cards. So I've got four, six, seven, 12, 15, 17, 25, 32, 36, 45, 49. Marty gets 1, 3, 8, 13, 15, 20, 28, 32, 37, 42. But he played, yeah, he played fewer birds than me. But we'll see if he got more points on eggs. Surely he's going to win that. Bonus cards. Yeah, I, I got a lot more points on bonus cards. I'm, I'm sorry, Marty, if I've made you lose again. Birds that can only live in water. That's five of them. Seven points. And birds in your habitat with the fewest birds, we didn't quite even it up, so that's two, four, six points. So seven plus six, 13 points. Marty only managed the bare minimum of being a photographer with just two birds with colors in their name. That's three points. So yeah, he's quite far behind now, isn't he? At the end of round goals, he should catch up a little bit. I got one, four, six, 10. Marty got one, six, 10, 15. That's a little bit of a gain. Eggs, 4, 8, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 for Marty. And I got 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yeah, maybe he's, maybe he's caught up by now. Food on the cards, nothing for me. I didn't have those powers. Marty's got 1, 2, 3, 4. And tucked cards. Let's see, we're going to have to destroy the <laughs> player board a little bit here. I've got two under the blackbird, three, four under the waxwing. And Marty with his horned lark. He's got the two there, and I think that's the only ability that did that on Marty's board. So yeah, let's see, let's see what we got. So quite close, and just under the scores that we tend to get in a normal two-player game, we, we get in the 90s range, almost 100 I think we've gone. Uh, but yeah, I'm really into the game. But anyway, that is just an example of how a game goes. 90 to 86, very, 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 very close. Maybe, yeah, just by getting a couple more birds out, he could have tipped that uh, balance. But yeah, that is an example of how a two-player game might go. If you would like to know what I think about the game, you can click the link over here somewhere and there'll be a box with my face in it where I will be talking about it. Uh, Wingspan is coming out very soon. You can see more information from tons of other people making videos and uh, and from Jamie himself. He's been doing, he does live Q and A's every Wednesday and does tons of uh, news and updates about what's coming from Wingspan and more stuff from Stonemire in the future. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, it gave you a good idea of what the game would be like. If you'd like more from me, I've done hundreds of board game playthroughs. They're all on the channel and there's, you know, top tens and things like that. Anything you fancy, really. Like them, subscribe them, comment, have a word with me. Uh, and I'm on Twitter and all of those things. Anyway, that is the end of this video now. That's all of the shameless plugging done at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.